Hi, this is Beth McKinney for FacePaint.com and today we're going to look at some of the whites that are available to see which one works best for you. One of the first things you'll notice if you begin to use Paradise White is that it has a very nice scent of coconut. Um, at first, that was that was the first thing I noticed when I started using it. I use Paradise. I always have it in my kit. I like the coverage when I'm sponging with it, but you can see here from the video that it, it does pretty well with line work and also um, in covering areas with a brush. This was my first time for trying Cryolin White, although some people really love it and use it all the time. I felt like it performed pretty well. It was, uh, its coverage was fair, it's pretty good, and I didn't have any trouble controlling it with the brushwork. You can see from the video it goes on, it's got a nice, nice coating on the skin with the brush and also with the sponge. Diamond FX is another white that I will frequently carry in my kit. I have several that I use regularly and others that I try occasionally. But Diamond FX is one of my regular paints, primarily because it's really good for line work and it's a nice opaque white. It's similar to Wolf or Party Explosion in its quality and it's very easy to use and gives good results. Most of the experience I had with Fab before this test was with the metallics, which I really like to use. I love their metallics. So this was my first time trying out their white, and I found out that it performed really well across the board. I liked it for line work, I liked it for covering with a flat brush, and I also liked using it with a sponge. It just was very easy to use. It was a good all-around paint. did a great job. Well, my Kim wasn't one of my favorites when it came to brush work, primarily because it's a little harder to get it to flow off the bristles, making it a little more difficult for line work. I felt that when it came to using it with a wider brush or when using it with a sponge, they were great. So I would be more likely to use this type of paint if I were creating eyes for a tiger and anything that required sponge work. Ruby Red White is another example of a paint that I had used a little bit in the past but did not use frequently. However, it does do well with line work and I also like the comfortable feel when it's sponged on the face. It doesn't get that tight feeling that, that uh, some paints might get as they dry and so it's good for that reason. Wolf is one of the best known whites that's out there and people will commonly refer to it. They use it a lot for line work and again, this is another paint that I do use a lot too. Diamond Effects and Wolf White are the two main paints that I carry for line work because it gives very nice crisp, sharp lines and it's also very good for coverage on the skin. You can use it for sponging, but sometimes it can feel a little sticky when you're trying to load the sponge for that. When trying out the Graftobian White for this demonstration, I felt like it didn't cover super well, but there are times when that might be advantageous. If you're trying to create a base color and you really don't want it to be solidly white, Graftobian might be a good choice for that. You can see how it went on with the brush as far as using brush strokes and having clarity and also how it went on with the sponge. As you can see from the video, Global White performed nicely for line work and clarity and it was easy to use. I didn't have any difficulty as it flowed off the brush onto the skin. It was a good all-around paint. We've fairly nice coverage with a brush or with a sponge. Uh, the only thing I would say is that occasionally some of the global paints can feel a little bit tight as they dry. When I started face painting, Snazaroo was one of the first brands that I tried. It is average, I would say, for line work and it's 
coverage is fair. So it's um, a very mild paint to use though. And when I ever have a concern about children possibly being sensitive, I usually choose Snazaru or Ruby Red. When using the Criveline Creamy White and also in using the Criveline Essentials White, I found that for the most part, especially when I was using a brush, they performed very similarly. They weren't really that different. There is a difference in the formula as far as the base of the paint, but overall their performance was very close. So whether you're wanting a, you know, a good coverage with your paint or whether you want sharp lines, these are going to perform about the same way. I would say though that the creamy might feel a little more comfortable on the skin just based on what's in it because usually the paints that have more of a paraffin wax base are the ones that have the potential to possibly feel a little tighter. Generally when a child says, oh this itches, it really doesn't itch. What they're experiencing is just that slight tightness that comes when the face paint dries. For my personal kit, I usually carry tag, but I use the pearl white. In this case, this was the first time I had tried tag regular white, and I was really pleased with how well it did. The lines were crisp, and I liked the way it went on with the brush and with the sponge. So tag is a paint that, while I hadn't used it that much in the past, as far as the white's concerned, I did use the other colors. I would consider carrying it also on my kit. Chameleon is a white that I had heard a lot of good things about from other artists. They said, oh, it's, it's a lot like Wolf, it's a lot like Diamond Effects, it's nice and crisp, but I'd never tried it out before, so it was fun to be able to experience it during this demonstration. I would say they are correct. It really performed well, I liked it really well, and again, it's one of those whites I would consider if I wanted a good white for the lining and wanted good opacity. Party Explosion is not a paint I've used a lot in the past. I recently did try it out a little bit. And what I discovered this time is that, again, it's one of those paints I could use for lining because it's nice and crisp and it's very opaque. So I felt that Party Explosion could be compared in its characteristics to Wolf or Diamond Effects or Chameleon because of those reasons. So thanks for joining me today. I hope as you went through the video it gave you an opportunity to see some of these brands of white in action so that you can decide which one will be the best for you. Also take a look at our ultimate white guide and just read through. There's a lot more detail in that guide to help you make a good choice. And if you'd like to subscribe to our videos, please hit the subscribe button and don't forget to leave a comment below. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.